there's so many artists out there who just put their music on YouTube that you know they don't have record labels, okay. but they just want to be heard. So those are the kind of music I started. I started up with. I started searching for those music. I started putting it together. I started with like 15, 20. I put it on YouTube. There's no strike. I said, okay, fine. This this works. So I take it down. I put up another 15 or 20. There's no strike on it. So I match the two together. It becomes about like 30 music that goes about like one hour. Then I submit it. Then I had I had no strike. Then you should always get the link and push your link by yourself. Nobody's gonna do it for you. What's going on, DJ family? DJ Reese here. If you're a new beginner DJ, you need new tips. You want to hear the inspiration from the DJs who started out new that are taking their DJ game to the next level. Well, you got to check out WeCreateTheVibes.com. So, man, congratulations on your YouTube, man. A thousand, man, over that's a thousand huge. subs. <laughs> Very that's huge. A- I love it. I love to see DJs out there strive. Not just, not just you know. DJing on sites, but also killing it online with the social media presence. I love it, man. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you so much, man. Man, so tell me, how does a DJ run a successful YouTube channel? Like, what are some of your strategies? Like, what should a DJ be doing that you're doing on YouTube? Okay, so um, I started YouTube. Um, I started creating uh, my mix and submitting to YouTube in 20, 2017. So by that time when I put my music on YouTube, there's so much um, claims on it. Mm, okay. Claims, there's so much strikes on it. And, you know, YouTube will ask me to take it down. So I noticed that it, it takes it takes so much, it takes so much hard work because so many music are being owned by record labels. And if you don't have the approval from record labels to put your music on YouTube, you might not have it good with YouTube. But there are so many music out there who, um, there's so many artists out there who just put their music on YouTube that, you know, they don't have record labels, okay. but they just want to be heard. So those are the kind of music I started, I started up with. I started searching for those music. I started putting it together. I started with like, 15, 20, I put it on YouTube, there's no strike. I said, okay, fine, this this works. So I take it down, I put up another 15 or 20, there's no strike on it. So I match the two together, it becomes about like 30 music that goes about like one hour. Then I submit it, then I had, I had no strike. Then you should always get the link and push your link by yourself. Nobody's gonna do it for you. Nobody had that time to like, you know, be pushing yourself, probably you have so much huge fans you know, that they can help you push. By the time you submit your music to YouTube, get the link, send it to your friends, send it to your folks, send it to your family, like, yo, give it out, give it a push. That way people can, you know, go to like, watch, play it on YouTube, then you start building up your watch hours. That's that's the only way you can build up your watch hour. So by the time you do that, you can, you know, get close to like a thousand subscribers. When you get like a thousand subscribers, then YouTube can give you the first tick the second tick is like you have no claim on it. There's no strike on it. The, the third tick is there's no community, whatever. You were good with you know putting your music out without no foul language, without no curse words on it. Then the fourth one is the big one, which is the 4,000 watch hour. By the time you get to 4,000 watch hour, then you can monetize your music on YouTube and start making money. 